Hey, my friends, what is happening? And today we've got a great question that came through from one of our members around creating consistent cash flow. What is cash flow? Cash flow is what sinks businesses when you don't have enough cash in the bank. You might have all the assets and tradespeople in the world, but if you don't have cash, it causes the stress, the anxiety, and I remember that myself. So the question is, how do I create consistent cash flow? Have you been thinking about that yourself? I know I certainly had for so many years growing my response electrician, my electrical company. And that was one of the most stressful things that I stressed over constantly all the time. And the big thing for me was, why don't we have the cash that I should have because of my profit and loss said we had profit? Why isn't the cash there? You know, we've, we're busy all the time. Why don't we have any cash in the bank? And when I started to learn around assets, liabilities, age receivables, age uh, payables, all of these things are really important in understanding cash flow. But I think the most important thing I think we need to take a bit of time and reflect on is how constant are you invoicing? I know for me, when I got really busy on the tools, like I, I was out there trying to do all of the work that we had, I might have spent a little bit of time really focusing on generating a bunch of work, building some relationships, doing a heap of quotes because we were quiet, and then boom, a couple of weeks later, all of those quotes converted, uh, had all this work all of a sudden, and then I was thrown into trying to manage this workflow. And all of this work just overwhelmed me. And I know that people feel comfortable when they're busy for weeks, but actually we've got to look at what isn't being done when you're that busy on the tools. And that for me was you know, not something I was aware of. And I was just out there trying to get all of the work done. I had all the tradies out there doing work. We were really busy, so busy that I left being a manager to go on the tools to support. And when that happens, you stop quoting, you stop invoicing, and I certainly did. And then that led to cash flow problems downstream. So cash flow is when the bank receives the cash from the work you're doing. There's a couple of factors that contribute to cash flow. It's consistency of invoicing. How consistent are you invoicing at the moment? Are you doing it after every single job? Are you doing it when you get home at night? Or are you doing it once a week? Or are you doing it when you get time? All of those factors are gonna result in how consistent the cash flow is for you and the type of work you're doing as well. As project work, you, you should be negotiating payment terms and the ability to ask for more regular payments, progress claims from your builders, from your suppliers. You need to be able to get consistent cash flow because you're paying staff weekly, generally. And if you're paying your staff weekly, cash is going out weekly, but not coming in weekly. And if you've got long projects, this can cause a major cash flow issue. Another thing that affects cash flow is that the liabilities that are building up in the background. We've got the GST, your taxes. We've got pay as you go withholdings tax. You've got your superannuation. Generally, you're not paying that every single week. I wasn't aware of this. I was like, why do I keep getting these huge tax bills? But I wasn't aware that it was just building up in the background. And when this is building up in the background, come tax time, if you're doing your taxes every quarter or every month, then you get this tax bill and it couples up with the wholesaler bill and that's when you get slammed with no cash in the bank. And you might've been busy as for like a whole quarter, but not been invoicing consistently. And there might be some projects that you've done like 40 hours worth of work, but haven't invoiced it yet because it's not finished. All of that is gonna contribute to you not having cash in the bank to pay those bills. At the same time, you've still been you know, generating uh, work and doing the work, but not doing the invoicing and therefore you're not getting the cash. One other big thing in terms of an asset is the money that's owed to you. One of the big things that I wasn't aware of is being consistent around collecting cash from clients. Having payment terms on your invoices pretty much allows the client to pay you after you've taken, you've done the service or the product and you delivered the product. If we go to a supermarket, we pay at the checkout. We don't walk out and say, hey, I'm gonna pay you next week. I'll come back, I'll pay next time. 
I'll pay you next week. Oh, I don't have the money at the moment. I'll pay you in a week's time after that. Oh, sorry, I still don't have the money. I'll pay you in a month. And this is what happens in the building and construction industry. And it's bullshit. It's really, really something you have to have an awareness around. Have some cash flow forecasting and just know that the actions you can take is be more consistent with invoicing and be more consistent with collecting the cash you're owed, which is your asset. A lot of the time when people come to me with the big freak outs around, man, I've got no money. What the hell am I going to do? Like, I was like, let's look at your age receivables. Looked at age receivables at 80 grand owing to them with 60,000 overdue. So have you called these clients? Oh, I just haven't had time, man. Been so busy on the tools. And that's what I went through as well. So I get it. And so I think when you get a better understanding around these consistencies and you have a better understanding around the assets and liabilities, then you're able to better manage the cash flow and protect your company from these crazy cash ups and downs. It protects your bank account from going really high to really low. You have strategies in place to be able to put money out of the bank account so you don't spend it before you need to pay a big bill. Another big thing that we notice and something I went through as well is taking too much money out to do a renovation on the house or do a, a little upgrade or buy this or buy that or go on a family holiday or whatever it is and took too much money out, which was actually money that was the GST or the pay-as-you-go withholdings. And I had no awareness around my assets and liabilities and therefore I had money in the bank, so hopefully it will be all right. But often that leads to cash flow issues. So I want to encourage all of you guys to better manage these things. And so what I'm going to do, guys that are members, I'm going to chuck up the training to understand how to make that really visual in your accounting system so that it's really, really simple for you to see your assets and liabilities and your net cash position so you don't overspend. But for all of you that aren't members, just get more consistent on cash flow. Get more consistent on invoicing, get more consistent on collecting the cash. If you can collect on the day, that's the best. But you're not, if you're not in the, if that's not the type of work you do, just be more consistent with your progress claims. The more consistent you are, the more consistent the cash flow will be and hopefully that will help. For all of you other guys in Freedom Fighters Plus, uh, reach out to Chantel. You guys will have uh, the accounting sessions that you can we can dive into your accounts and give you some training around that as well. All right, guys, hope that helps. All the best for now. See you later.